everybody, it's Sam with Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really fun paper bag mini album. So these are all paper bags inside which started life like this. So I picked these up from the works. I did share them in one of my What Did I Get videos. So I will share any links that I can. But this is going to be holding all of my photos for a trip that I went to. Ibiza in 2012 so it was me and my girlfriends and uh, yeah I'm going to be filling it up with lots and lots of photos so this one will hold a lot of photos it's entirely up to you whether you want to add you know as many mats and layers as I have so that will hold four photos there on that front page then you could have one here one on the back and this again so that would be another four so already you're on eight and then you've got another one two on there so that's 10 and you can easily have two of these mats in here so that's 12 just here so if you imagine that all the way through this will hold 60 I reckon plus photos so it's a really good album and you can easily expand it so I haven't actually stuck any of this down it's all being held together with this ribbon because I do plan to make this possibly bigger so at the minute I've used four paper bags but I might even double that up so I've got eight paper bags in here so it'll be eight pages so I will talk you through all of that and yeah show you how I've made it okay so it's mainly mats and layers that you're going to need so I've already done one of the I guess the pocket sections because this is two paper bags together and this is what you will have and this is you could pop this into anything you may have a bigger album that you're working on this could be a nice page you could you know yeah use it in all kinds of things but these are just your mats and you've got on the back there as well so they slot in and you can put as many mats in here as you want I may well end up doubling up um, depending on you know how many photos I end up popping in this okay so I've already done the front and back case and I've popped a mat onto each side there so we'll talk through that in a moment okay so this is what the paper bag looks like you get three in a pack for a pound from the works these are really really strong ones so I would say you know any ones you can use they don't have to have the handle obviously I do use one of the handles in this but you could use anything for that but any paper bags any length as well you can easily adapt this project you know once you see how I put it all together it's very easy to just resize so really it's just kind of showing you what you can do with them so I've already got two here and I've gone and taken out the handle so I know it's a little bit like I guess it doesn't look 100% in there but you could cover that if you want to but you, you don't really see it it's not something that I'm ever going to look at because I've got the mats in there so you need to remove them and then you will have these so I'll be keeping these for other things because I am going to obviously use one to make the handle for the just more decorative than anything but I do like how it looks so what you want to do first of all is you can run them through your trimmer if you want but because this is quite tough I'm going to cut this myself so I'm just trimming the ends all of these kind of little just I don't know what it is it's almost like um just these little edges there so I'm just cutting off the ends so I'm just going to do that with this one here so I will link in these paper bags because like I said they are from the works but if you do want to know the size these are eight by six okay next what you want to do is you want to start working this piece here because this is going to be our hinge okay where the bag folds so you just want to work it back and forth so I'm just going to grab my bone folder there and you just want to kind of like I said these are really tough so they don't crack or anything but I just want to keep working it in both directions so that it, it will fold quite freely so you can see now here how that folds really nicely and again the one on the back there as well okay so I've done that with that one okay and then with the other one this is going to form our pocket our second pocket so actually what you want to do is open it like that okay so open it up and then kind of sandwich it back on itself and then you just want to cut really neatly following that score line or fold line like so okay so now you'll have one piece that is a pocket obviously you want to do this twice or as many times as you want you can make this as thick as you want and you can add to it as well so it's entirely up to you how you do this okay so then you've got this where it's all kind of messy what you can do is turn that end around so that's the end that sticks down the bottom so then when you look in this side you haven't got obviously um, that kind of ripped where we rip the handles out that's if you've got 
bags with handles. You have got the fold there, but we're going to be putting our mats over it so you don't end up seeing any of it. Okay, so this is our top pocket. This one on the back, you just want to slip that piece around and you want to slip it into the, the back section of that bag and then just kind of push it down on there so you get it right up to the that fold line like so and then don't butt it right up you want it to just have a little bit of freedom to be able to move okay so the last thing you want to do is push that so kind of tight down there that it starts to like catch and buckle but you want to make sure that that moves really really freely okay once you're happy with that if you open this up and just kind of fold it back on itself so again you just want it to get used to the fact that this one's going to fold like this and this one needs to fold as well okay then you need to glue it so flip the whole thing over so you've got this back piece and I'm just going to grab some of my glue and you just want to run a bead of glue all along the bottom there so just kind of squeeze it inside okay make sure you get that nice and secure you don't want to go too far in with glue because we need to put our mats in here and we don't want them to obviously you know if you've glued all the way up to here then your mat's going to really stick out so just like you just saw me there just run a bead just inside just to stick that down okay and then fold it back and it should start to move quite nicely there okay and then in this one here you want to just add some glue all along here and then all along there so you're going to catch the bottom of these side pieces and stick this top piece down here don't worry if you haven't well you could actually also I guess yeah just run a bit of glue there and there as well okay so you can see where I've put the glue all on that piece and then on those two sides and then just stick the whole thing down so you're just sealing and securing all of the the bases really of the the bags okay then all that should be left open are the side pieces all right now it's entirely up to you you don't have to stick them down but I prefer to so I'm just going to open this one up here and just run some glue all the way around and again on this side here okay and then when you open this up you'll have your pocket and you can put a mat on this side and a mat on this side here okay so that's what I mean you can put two in here if you want to so now that's everything stuck down and then you've already got this one here so again if you want to go and stick down all of this that side and all of that side there as well okay and then if your back one's a little bit higher you can trim it down if you want but again I'm not too worried it's because I didn't see they'll come up just a bit higher which I'd rather anyway because I know that they're going to fold freely so if it does bug you that this one's slightly longer then just trim it down but I'm going to leave it because it's not going to jut out too much and that is it that's your pocket so you should have this piece on the back here because that's what we're going to stick down to either the next one or to your base for example this one here that would stick then into that section like so okay so then you want to do all of your decorations so all of the mats for the outer pocket so I've got all these ones ready here will stick over the top leaving this large section here which I think was one and three quarters let me just check because that's obviously dependent on the bag that I'm using so yeah one and three quarters so these mats I'll give them measurements for but they're only going to work if you're using these same um, paper bags as me so whatever paper bag you're using where your natural fold was you want to create a mat for that area there but these ones here that I've got are five and three quarters by five and five eighths of an inch and you want two, four of those. So I'm gonna go and get mine all stuck down. Okay, so there is my two pockets and then I just need my mats to go inside. So I already went ahead and done these just because this is just easy, you know, you just need to stick them on. So again, depends on what paper bags you're using to start with, but each of my mats are six and a quarter by five and a half and you'll need two, but I think I am gonna double up because you can definitely easily get two. You can probably even get three mats uh, you know these kind of picture mats in each of the pockets so the layer on top of that is five and three eighths by five and a quarter 
and again you'll need four, one for each side. So I am going to pop, I don't think I've I done them, I matched them on the other one but this one I've just done any, but they will slide in and then stick out the top. So I'm just going to corner these ones, Just I always like to just round off the edges, it just stops things kind of like curling over the years and stuff. So that one in there and then that one in there. So yeah, off camera I will add more because you can easily, like I said, link in a lot here. So that mat I can push down a little bit more but everything now lines up. So now, line those up as well because they will bug me. <laughs> that will sit over the top and you can see how this album starts to kind of fan out and it's really, really cool. I do like this. Now this is the time when you would want to add more if you want to. Now if you don't want to stick these down you can just have the ribbon hold it all together, which is probably what I'm going to do at the moment because I may well get some more paper bags and add to this so I can make it thicker. And what you can also do is if you want it to be able to fold more freely is you can add some fun foam. Now this fun foam is really, really thick. This was actually given to me by my friend Tatty when she sent me um, some friend mail. So if you wanted to add a piece in between, so I have done this with an album before, but I haven't actually done a tutorial on it. I keep meaning to. So you would need, I would say one and five eighths of an inch in width. Okay, I just wanted to line it up a little bit. You don't want it to go right to either end really. You don't want it to go right up to the fold there because you don't want it to obstruct it and you don't want it oozing out of the side. But if you do it by one and five eighths in thickness and again, the same principle with the, with the height, you don't want it coming out of the top or the bottom. So I'm going to do, if this is six, I'm gonna do five and three quarters. Okay, so I'm just showing you how to add this in because it will really help if you are adding a lot more layers, it will help the whole kind of album, the pages turn. So now I've got that piece. So if you imagine now, if we stick that in between there and then sandwich that in between like that, can you see it now kind of starts to level everything out. And again, if you do want to add more bulk and by the time we've added photos, that having that foam there and it is thick. So if you don't have this thickness and you've got normal fun foam, which I buy in the works, just double the foam up so it becomes thicker. But now you'll see if by the time I added maybe even some embellishments and stuff, once that's obviously stuck, it will give you that, you know, room really. So I'm probably going to add that piece in when I do my hole punching. But again, I'm not going to stick it down. I'm going to leave it just free for the minute until I've actually decided on how big this album will be once the photos are in because then I can kind of seal it all up. Okay, so that's where you want to be at this point and obviously add more pockets onto it if you want to. Okay, then for the front and the back, you want two pieces. This is just a thick 300 GSM cardstock and this measures, grab my school board. So this measures nine by six and one eighth of an inch. I've just done it slightly bigger so it does just cover the bags. And you wanna, along the nine inch side, you want to score from one and seven eighths of an inch. You wanna score backwards along every score line or you wanna score every score line up to one and seven eighths of an inch. That was purely decorative. If you don't wanna have all those stripes, then you don't have to. And what I would say, all you wanna do then is score at one and seven eighths of an inch. Now, again, if you're using a different size paper bag, then this here measured one and three quarters. So I just added one eighth of an inch just to just allow it again to be able to overhang a bit. So whatever your size is there, I would say add an extra one eighth of an inch, even half an inch onto that measurement um, for your hinge, for your outer hinge. Now I've got two pieces, I've got one for the back as well. And I've already gone ahead and popped a mat on the front and the back. And the mat for this is actually come from the paper pack itself and this is the top paper pack. I have two. This is the, the top one and it gives you an overview of all the papers in the actual pack. So I've just used that for my front cover and I thought it looked really, really good. So you want two pieces, entirely up to you whether you do all those score lines or not and then you just want to burnish the, that, that initial score line, so the one and seven eighths of an inch. You don't want to burnish all of them. Like I said, mine are just there for decoration. Okay, so now we want to start putting it all together. So it's very, very quick to do. Now I want to add this handle in. I just like it, I just think it looks cute. So on my top one, I'm going to add it behind before I start to add like the foam and sandwich other bits and pieces to it. So I'm just going to grab some of my glue. 
Okay, and just making sure, I'm just using my grid here just to make sure everything's lined up nicely. Stick that down and just make sure it all stays within that hinged section. So you really are kind of reusing all of the bag. You're just kind of putting it back together in a very different way. I'm going to take some of this bulk off as well. Just make sure you've got, you don't want any loose bits because if you glue onto it and it's not attached properly, it's not going to stick together. Whereas all the rest of that now is actually stuck down. Okay, then I'm going to add that bit of foam because I do know that that's going to stay there. So I'm going to stick that piece now over the top there. What I will do is I'm going to add some red liner tape just because I am using foam. just for good measure there's that extra glue and then again you just want to make sure you get it as kind of centered in that section as possible because remember we're going to be putting hole punches through this and ribbon so it, it's going to st stay together so you know don't worry thinking oh your glue might not be strong enough because at the end of the day the ribbon's going to hold it actually in place but now I think that looks really quite cool. So once I put my ribbon at the bottom, you could carry this album. So I think it makes quite a nice gift as well. Okay, so that's that piece done. Now you want to bring in your next layer. So that's going to sandwich on top like so. Okay, you can see how that's all going to work. So again, I'm going to add some red tape onto the back of this. Okay, and then I'm just going to line that one up with the paper below. That way I know everything's going to sit perfectly together. You see there, you just get quite a nice finish with it all. Okay, so I'm not going to stick any more now and I'm not going to add any more foam because like I said, I will, I'm probably going to double this up. So I'm going to add another four more bags to this. So there'll be one, two, yeah, there'll be eight pages and then your front and back. So that would make it 10 pages in total. So I think I will end up doing that. Like I said, I've got the photos coming. So once they're here and I decide actually what ones I'm gonna have where, then I'll know how much more I wanna use. So now you wanna decide where you wanna add your holes to punch it through. So I would start with trying to think what's going to be best is actually going to be best I think starting with the outer one so if you lay this down you want to make sure that when the fold comes up so fold this back okay and fold bring this up and over and then butt it up don't do it the other way around so that's where I want that to sit okay because when that falls right back it doesn't push this back that's where that needs to sit if you were to butt it right up to the score line there or the fold line, bring this up. It doesn't let me bring it up any higher than that. So bring this up as far over as possible and then kind of bring that into place. And it should overhang just ever so slightly on each side, okay? Once I've got that sitting where I need it, I can then just kind of decide, I think I'm gonna have one there and then maybe one there. So I'm looking at one, it's about one and a quarter. That's a little bit further up. One and three eighths, I'm gonna bring this one down just ever so slightly, because I can rub that out. So you're looking at about one and a quarter to one and three eighths, okay. Then I'm gonna take out my crocodile here and just go in, and I can't go in that far with that one, so I will now need to use this one. Can't with that one either. Okay, so option number three is the screw punch. So this one now I can just line up and punch that one down and again. And then I'm just going to rub all that out. Okay, and then sit this back over again, fold it back, sit it back where you had it, bring this one up. So it was like so. Hold it all in place and then with a pencil you can just draw over that one there. Okay, and then this one might fit now with my crocodile because they seem to be coming higher up but it's having that thickness to get it through. No, it's not. So again, this is when the screw punch comes in handy. It's going to take a bit of working but it will go through. 
and then if it hasn't gone right through the bottom one what you can do is with your pokey tool is just push it because it's gone through pretty much everything bar that last one just poke right through there and then flip it over and just go back over that way and then it all pushes through now if you can't do it like this then do them all separately before you stick it down okay so don't feel like you know you might not have the screw punch or the cropper dial or anything like that then you can also just use a pokey tool and just poke through so there now you can see it's gone all the way through you can just see the circles the other side okay now I just need to sit this one over and it should line up perfectly and then what I can do is sit this one over the top of here and just punch straight through and then you can attach it with your ribbon so that one is going to go on the back like I said I'm not going to stick all mine together eventually if I was happy now with this I would glue this onto here and I would glue this onto here but I'm going to keep it just like this for the minute until um, I'm happy with everything else in place. Okay so then you want to bring in some ribbon so this is the ribbon that is part of the same collection I'll show you it in a more detail in a moment so I'm going to start with the back one first and I'm going to thread through both of the sides there. And then you may need to help this along a bit because obviously it's quite a kind of tight area there so I'm just going to use this same thicker bulbarian and it should push it right the way through which it has. Okay so just kind of don't use actually, don't use something sharp you want something that's blunt because you don't want it to ruin your fabric you, and you want it to actually push it through rather than just cut through it. So now I can pull that all into place and you can see here when you line it up can you see how nice and even I've got that even overhang on both sides okay so it's all coming together nicely and then again this one I should just be able to thread through. If you've already glued these in place just make sure you don't glue really close to the hole so otherwise you might struggle getting the ribbon through as well so just bear that in mind. Okay and then I'm just going to tie this off something like that now I am going to play around with this a little bit more and just tidy it up but just to give you kind of the basics there of how you put it together you can easily adapt that with any size that you have and just look how fun that is as a handbag it is going to be attached at the bottom there but you don't have to I'm kind of looking at it now thinking I wonder if I will actually because those mats aren't going to fall out and I'm not actually really going to carry it around like that it just it's purely for you know um, just to look at but now if you open it up this should all freely fold over which it does okay and then you've got your back there so again you can add pockets and stuff but I'm going to go and decorate this even more now um, I've got bits sticking everywhere I need to wipe my desk down but I think it's a really quick really nice way to use up paper bags obviously you don't have to use brown ones you can have white ones as well but yeah I think it looks really cute so I'm going to decorate it and then I'll be back with it kind of finished okay so this is as far as I can go with it because obviously I've got a lot more I still want to add to it and it's not until you add the photos that you can add more embellishments and things like that so this is my Ibiza 2012 album so I've added a little bow which is part of the same Happy You collection so that's them there that's the ribbon what I've decided to do is I've actually now thread the ribbon back so the bow is at the back rather than the front because I've added that bow and also a little metal heart there all part of the same collection so that's the ribbon there are the little hearts the little um, charms and then inside, so this just fold, just falls over as you fold this over. So I've added a pocket here and I've got two mats so they're ready to add photos. A lot of my photos will be square throughout this album because that's just the way that the pages have kind of, the size of the pages have, have fallen to become squares once you take off that section. So that's fine, that's how I'm going to, or I have printed them off. So I have this one which is me in Ibiza on one of the sunbeds and so I just thought I'd pop that in there just to show you. So these are the little paper clips and that's those there and I've used those throughout because what I intend to do is I can add a photo onto the back of this and then I can add another one of these mats as well so I can have more photos on this one paper clip so already I've got maybe one two three four five six seven maybe eight photos just here then you can add more mats and layers with this as well so say 10 max at the minute um so already you're looking at 40 
50, 60, you, a lot of photos you can fit into this album because you can add so much to it. So yeah, and that's it. So you can see there, I've just done that on each of those pages for the minute, like so. And then the back one will stay like this until I've decided how much I'm going to extend this. Because remember, I haven't stuck anything down because it is all ready to be expanded if I feel I need to. But you can have, you can carry it like this, so it is quite cute. These mats don't fall out, you know, they are kind of wedged in there, so you've got no worries there. But I love it. I think it's turned out really, really well. Can't wait to fill it with the photos. I will share some of it with the photos in, but, you know... They're private. It's my uh, my life outside of YouTube, so I don't want to share too much. Plus, there's other people in those photos as well. So I hope you like my paper bag mini album. I hope you like my kind of take on it. And yeah, give it a go. So until next time, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.